Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of the JHS Vlog. On today's show, we're gonna talk about a pedal that has been a long time coming, the Kodiak Tremolo. Tremolo doesn't get a lot of love and today I'm gonna to love on Tremolo because it needs it and I want you to say Tremolo. Tremolo. Pretty good job. So let's jump right into the features, the story, and everything you need to know about this pedal. So Tremolo here at JHS has a really long story. It's about a decade long and it all started with this modification that I did to Boss pedals. I call it the Boss Versa Trim. I modded some internal parts and I added most importantly a foot switch that lets you toggle between two different independent speeds. So you set one speed wherever you want, click it, and you have another one, you set it where you want it as well. And that kind of snowballed into my first ever unique Tremolo, the Honeycomb. So very basic one speed tremolo flashing led so you see the speed and then we had custom shop at this time and a customer said hey can you take the honeycomb trim and do what you do to the boss pedals give me two speeds and that's how the honeycomb deluxe was born pay attention to the b icon because he didn't last long so this is like 2009 2010 i think and then we update the original honeycomb you get the new icon, a different color, and on the back is a speed switch. So you go from slower overall speeds. If you need faster trim, you flip that switch and the overall pedal allows you to go faster. And along with that update, we updated the dual as well. So the new icon, an internal dip switch for faster slow. And then about a year ago, maybe more, not really sure, we quit making the final production runs of the Honeycomb. They're all printed. Nice and clean, knob labeling, speed one and two, internal dip switch that you can move with a screwdriver or your fingernail. And then came the idea of finally doing the tap tempo tremolo. It was first an idea in like 2012, a long time ago. And in my mind, I said, hey, we'll put this out like next year, 2013. Well, it never happened. So 2015, we finally finished it, but not in the pedal format our 500 format. So when we put the 500 out, I got really excited because I knew the pedal was just around the corner. I thought, hey, it's 2015, this is out, so 2016, we'll have our Tap Tempo Tremolo pedal that we've tried to do for years and years. Well, it didn't happen, but we filmed a teaser, spent thousands of dollars, rented a bear, drove out in a canyon, wrote a movie script, filmed this entire thing, and guess what? The pedal never got finished. And it all just set, it's dusty on a hard drive. I'm just gonna show you some clips for your amusement. It never got finished, but here you go. Hi, it's Bam Bam, the magical bear. So tremolo is one of electric guitar's oldest effects. It came into play through Fender and Vox and tons of other amplifiers of the old era. And in 1947 came along the D-Armin tremolo. It is arguably the very first effect pedal ever. It was a tremolo that used a motor inside of a canister full of fluid. It would short the signal out. It's super fascinating. And one day I'll do an episode on it. But today we're here to talk about the Kodiak. The Kodiak is an all analog trim with a lot of modern goodness, like tap tempo and some other things that I'm gonna cover. Let's take a look. The Kodiak Tremolo has five main controls. It has a volume control that allows you to cut or boost your overall volume, the ratio control, which works in conjunction with the tap tempo function. The mix control is a standard mix, which allows you to blend between your clean guitar signal and the effect of tremolo. Then you have the speed control. You turn it up, the rate goes faster. You can also do this two different ways. You can tap in the tempo with the tap tempo foot switch, or you can flip this switch to expression, plug in an expression pedal, and actually sweep between slower or faster. Thank you. 
Last but not least, we have the waveform selection control. This lets you choose between four waveforms. The first waveform is the sine wave. This is the most standard, most known, and most familiar to all of you. You hear this in most guitar amplifiers. The next setting is our very own rhythmic setting. This is basically a syncopated square wave and it really helps you get out of the box of the normal tremolo approach. The next setting is square wave. Usually people refer to this as the helicopter sounding tremolo because it has a very hard on and off in the LFO. Last but not least, we have the ramp setting. So this lets you ramp into your trim and then off into a square, and it comes off in certain settings almost like a swell effect. Today on Record Time, I'm gonna show you not one, not two, you guessed it, three records. Because why? Three is better than one. And I wanna talk about my favorite songs with tremolo in them. So let's start right off with the Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed, and track one. It's my favorite Rolling Stones record. It's called Gimme Shelter. And if you haven't heard it, you need to go listen to it. You'll definitely be a better person. The second is Radiohead, The Bins. The song on here, track five, is called Bones, and it is a really fantastic display of tremolo in a modern rock genre. And last but not least is one of my favorite bands, Credence Clearwater Revival. This is Chronicle 2, Greatest Hits 2. They have a Chronicle 1, which I think is a much better record, um, but it has the track on here, Born on the Bayou. Um, the reason I use the greatest hits is a lot of people haven't really gotten into this band and if you haven't you're missing out and the best place to start I think is these Chronicle records. So one more time, if you haven't heard The Bins, I'm sorry you really need to work on that. And if you haven't heard Let It Bleed specifically Give Me Shelter, please do that, please. And if you're not into Credence, we can still be friends somehow, but I need you to listen to this, please. And I need you to leave in the comments your favorite songs that feature tremolo. The best riff you've ever heard with the tremolo effect. Leave the band name, the song, and the album that you like that song on. I will check it out. I really look forward to it. Thanks so much for watching this episode about the brand new Kodiak Tremolo. I'm excited for you guys to get your hands on it and try it, but I also want to throw out some other options. I really like JHS because, let's be honest, I'm partial, but I also know that you might not love the Kodiak Tremolo. I think you should try it, I think you'll like it, but maybe it's not the exact trim that you're looking for. So here are some options made by friends of mine that I think you should at least check out. One of them is the Diamond Tremolo. It's a pretty awesome and a fairly old tap tempo pedal that's been around for a while. The Sonar by Zvex. We have the Conductor by Matthews Effects. 
And then we have the legendary Tap a Whirl by John Cusack. This is the first ever pedal tremolo with tap tempo, because why? John Cusack's a wizard. And then obviously the episode has been about this, so take your pick. If you end up with this, I'm happy, but if you end up with one of my friend's trims, I'm equally happy because at the end of the day, whatever you like is what's good. So leave a comment in the comments section about this episode. Ask some more questions about the Kodiak because this is your chance to kind of jump into the story, get specific details from us, and um, just find out what you need to know straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. <laughs> also, hit the like button if you liked the episode, subscribe to the channel, and there's a bell. Click that bell and you'll be notified on Thursdays when we have a new episode. Until next time, take care.